Media freedom in Southeast Asia continues to come under threat. In recent weeks, the Sri Lankan government has blocked at least five websites considered too critical of political leaders. In October, Myanmar's press censorship department pledged to loosen restrictions on some media outlets, but reporting continues to be limited there. And in Thailand, parliament is considering new rules that would grant police expanded powers to crack down on publications considered offensive to the monarchy or a threat to national security. Often, it is individual journalists who end up facing prosecution under broad state powers. FSRN has been following one of these cases closely. Thai editor Chiranuk Prem Chaipurn was charged with violating an internet crime law after a reader posted a comment to the news website Prachatai, where she's an editor. The government considered the comment offensive to the monarchy. Charges could carry more than two decades in prison. FSRN sat down with Prem Chai Porn during her visit to Los Angeles, where she received a Courage in Journalism Award from the International Women's Media Foundation. She began by describing the effect of the 2007 Computer Crime Act on media in Thailand. The intention that being proposed for drafting and passed this law is like a, to stop the crime that led to the cyber crime, like a kind of like a phishing, spamming, or spreading the virus. But in the in the reality that this law already been implemented or to enforce for the kind like a, the defamation and it's also uh, makes the the providers or the webmaster or the web hosting owners they are kind of like a, have to be very af- quite afraid to. Uh, to operate this thing, so they they tend to like uh, self censor more, and not allow anything that consider to be takes any risk of like uh, being charged with this law. These um, laws that uh, that govern uh, what's published online and, and and what's discussed online have had wide impact in Thailand. Um, Thai authorities say that they have blocked seventy thousand internet pages in the last four years, the majority of which, 60,000, are for insults to the monarchy, and the government has set up a specific office called the Office of Prevention and Suppression of Information Technology Crimes. What other kinds of sites have been blocked under this? Uh, other kinds is like uh, the pornography sites and some like uh, fraud and yeah, but the majority is something that relates to the monarchy. How about your website, Prachatai? When I was last in um, Thailand in uh, in eight, March, April, and we we spoke there at that point, that day at least, your website was accessible from within Thailand. Is it accessible now? Has it been blocked since then? Yeah, I forgot about my website actually. <laughs> We've been blocked for a year, but now it's uh, after like a, we, we've been blocked under the emergency decree, not under the Computer Crime Act. But uh, since the emergency decree left, some ISP still blocked, some ISP already left. Well, that's also part of this problem is transparency. In this process of when a site is blocked, do you have a way of finding out why it is blocked and how long it will be blocked, when that will be lifted? Is is that a clear process? Not at all. This is not at all. And I think we already tried to find the the answer once when we found by ourselves that I, we cannot access our website, but they didn't inform us directly. We have to find out by ourselves. Your newest website, Prachatai, um, does investigations into domestic issues. It also covers um, issues regionally in the Southeast Asia region. It also includes news items that are international for Thai readers. How do you see the role of Prachatai and your role as an editor in Thailand society? Even in Thailand, we have a kind of like a, the, the, the varieties of the media. It's, the media will feel like uh, they're quite free to work, but we still found like uh, the the practice of the media. Uh, many of them they practice self censor, and uh, we want to keep 
our media being independent. That is a, I think it's an important point, and we try to looking through the story to cover the thing that the mainstream media didn't cover. I think even we have thousands of media, but sometimes thousands of media they cover just only one or two things. Then <laughs> we we try to figure out and try not to duplicate the thing that the uh, mainstream media did, and I think we still have a a, a lot of thing to do and a lot of thing to work to 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 be a kind like a provide information to looking through the alternative ideas, alternative views for the people to have some kind like a information to things different sometimes. c h e r n i k p r a m c h a i p o r n thank you for your time in speaking with us. Thank you. p r a m c h a i p o r n s defense trial is scheduled to resume in February next year.